the Nature's Grotto Bridge, one of the worst training methods in the game. Now, you might remember Swampletics Episode 2. It took Settled 11 hours to reach level 15 agility using this bridge. There's good reason for this taking so long. The bridge awards 15 XP for a success and 2 XP for a fail, and has an insanely high fail rate. In addition to this, the bridge hits between 2 and 7 damage per fail, and there is extremely limited access to food in Mauritania. Now, we established that it took Settled a gruelling 11 hours to reach level 15, or 2,411 XP. I need to get level 40 15 times more XP. On the last episode of Canifis Chunk, we brute forced our way into Canifis with minimum stats, completed all best in slot items in the chunk, left Canifis due to an embarrassing quest kerfuffle, and then rolled nine chunks, resulting in a level 71 agility requirement for the spiky chain shortcut in the Slayer Tower. Okay, I think this should be the first clip of the video. This is fucking crazy. This is going to be a mental grind. So, I'm level 2 agility so far. Basically, I can cross the bridge a few times. You know, try a few times, fail most of the time, uh, before I get hit down to really low hit points. And I just have to wait until my, uh, my HP regens. Because with the chunks that I have unlocked... Um, there's no range, there's no fire, and the only food is the raw, uh, you know, beef, chickens, trout, whatever, that you can buy in Canifis, but I can't cook any of it. So I'm kind of stuck just waiting to regen hit points. Um, so this might take even longer than I thought it was going to, because there's no access to food. I can't cook the raw snails, because again, there's no fire, no nothing. But there is a pub, actually. Do that, does that sell beer? That pub could quite realistically sell beer, and I think beer, what, heals a one? I mean, a one is better than, than nothing at all, right? So, right, let's go check that out. Now, as good as a diet of just beer sounds, Canafish kind of Chunk would be doing a lot better if he signed up with today's sponsor. Hello Fresh. Now, this is the first ever sponsorship on the channel, and it's quite a fortuitous one, as I've been getting HelloFresh five dinners a week for my family for the last 18 months. My three-year-old is incredibly fussy, but with over 40 recipes each week, there's always something that can get the whole family sitting down together to eat the same thing. It also makes mealtime easy, as all the ingredients are pre-portioned, and so all we have to do is cook and enjoy. Also, we find we save a lot of money each month, as that cheeky takeaway is all the less tempting when you have delicious, easy to create dinners at your fingertips. Every sign up supports me and my family, so to try HelloFresh with a 60% discount and free shipping, please click the link in the description. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Right, I've banked all my gear and grabbed all my coins. Time to go and see what this guy has for us. I mean, beers are, beers are decent, right? I mean, they're better than nothing. So. I don't know what he's... That's not a beer. And I can get these very quickly. Um, okay, let's grab a full invent of these and just see what they can do for us. Um, that's very cool. What, you just have to click and hit space? That's so nice. Okay, so they're Moonlight Meads and they heal four. Oh, wow. It tastes like something just died in your mouth, but it doesn't seem to be draining any of my stats. Wow. Okay, right, that's a game changer. Way better than beer, better than even the chickens and stuff, if we could get them. And it's a one-click buy. You don't even have to click space. That's nuts. That's the best thing ever. This is so brutal, even with the Moonlight Meads. You just get hit so much because you fail so often. 
Like, just getting hit sixes, sevens, fives constantly just really eats through these Moonlight Meads. I mean, they heal four, but that's not a lot when you're getting hit seven per fail and you fail, like, 80% of the time. Oh, this is brutal. I mean, this can't be better than, you know, hundreds of XP per hour, 1,000 XP per hour tops. This is crazy. Really crazy. <laughs> I don't think I estimated how bad this was going to be. <laughs> okay, we're on to our second trip. From that first one, we did manage to get level 5. I mean, it's not really much XP. It was probably like 300 XP from that, that trip. But, you know, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, it's, it's, it's quite mad. It's quite a frustrating little grind. And I'll be honest, I'm going to run out of cash. And quite quickly, because I've got 4k, which was everything I got from the uh, from the werewolf grind. And it's just, I'm going to eat through it quick. I mean, I get, what, 800 Moonlight Meads, and there's no way that's going to be enough for 40. So that's going to be a challenge we've got to overcome as well. But let's see where we can get to with this 4,000 coins. Trip number three, we got up to level eight agility on the last one. It's... it's it's hard. It feels like it's going quick and slow because the levels are going quite quick at the moment, but the but the XP is very slow. So the thought of doing some of those Slayer Tower um, obstacles at what, like 65, 61, 71 agility, that seems a fucking long way off right now, <laughs> crossing this bridge, but we'll persevere, we'll persevere, we'll get there. Trip number four, the coins are rapidly diminishing, but we are up to level nine agility, nearly level ten. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. Okay, the first big level milestone for us, level 15 agility. It doesn't actually mean anything to us, but it means we've uh, matched the uh, settled video. Um, he needed it to get into the haunted mine, but we obviously don't have the haunted mine unlocked. So, yeah, let me, let, I mean, just, just look at this. This is how grim the XP per hour is here. You, you, and the way, the way the character walks up to the bridge, every single time it looks like he's going to do it, and then he just falls in the water. Um, I mean, this is what we're going through to get these levels. It's been a long time just to get level 15 and to think that I need 15 times this XP with the fail rate barely getting any better the whole time is... Is crazy. We're down to 3,000 uh, 3, coins, which really isn't a lot, and it took us a long time to get the 4,000 coins that we did. This is a crazy, crazy grind, and I, <laughs> I'm really uh, asking myself, why did I sign up to this? Why did I do this to myself? If you've enjoyed relishing in my pain thus far, please consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss any more from this grueling, tortuous, incredibly fun to play account. We are now down to just under 2,000 coins, but there is level 20 agility. Just 20 more levels to go until we get to the Canifis course. Level 22 agility. It's starting, it feels like it's getting slightly better, to be honest, than it, than it was at level one, but I don't think by a lot. Level 25 agility, and we are rapid, ooh. The werewolf skull ball course. I don't know. I don't think I can do it because I think you need creature Frankenstein. But yeah, level twenty-five agility. Crazy, crazy times. Okay, we are down to one hundred and sixty-six coins, so basically nothing, and we're at twenty-six and a half agility. We've got a very limited amount of sort of alky stuff that we can sell to the shop, but the Canifis shop only buys at ten percent value which is four times less than a normal shop. So, yeah, this is going to be brutal, and we're probably really not going to get that much coins for this stuff. Um, but, yeah, let's see what we get. 1,560 coins is what we managed to get for all that stuff. <laughs> really not a lot, and definitely not enough to get us to level 40 agility. So we're definitely going to have to do some money-making at some point. So we're going to kill some werewolves for some money, see what we can kind of get from them. Um, I won't kill the actual whales, I'll just kill the citizens because they're actually really low defense and I can kill them relatively easily just with the gear that I've got. Um, they don't really drop very much though, their best drop is sort of 120 coins um, and they drop some kind of, you know, bear fur and stuff like that but no sort of rune items or anything like that. 
Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be very, very low cash per hour. So from the nearly two hours of on and off uh, werewolf citizens that we did, it's looking like this is probably four, five, six hundred GP per hour. Really not good. So I decided to nip into the swamp to see what uh, killing the snails would do, and it looks like these shells might be very, very good for me. They sell for 15 coins each, um, but I can get them very reliably from the snails. The snail itself doesn't actually sell for anything, um, so they're useless to me. But the shells, that might be our best money maker. So I'll go get a full invent, see what it sells for, and um, see how long it takes and see if it's worth it. So here we are with our full invent. Let's see what it sells for. So we'll drop the coins and... No, nope, not, not her. Um, him. So 15 coins. I think they should all sell for 15 coins. Um, but I got a few different ones just to check. So we made 345 coins and it took around about 10 minutes. So that's way better. So we stopped getting coins for now and got level 32 agility. We're really sort of rattling through it now. It's starting to feel like I'm on the on the home stretch a bit. I'm definitely probably going to need... Definitely probably? That doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm definitely going to need more coins um, to get to level 40, but it, it feels like we're really sort of motoring through it now. So uh, yeah, let's uh, deplete these coins and see where we get to. So one of the comments on my last video that came up several times was that I can actually abuse the maze randoms that you get to get loads of elemental runes. So I can get mind and chaos runes from the barrage chest in Mauritania relatively easily. But one of the things I cannot get in Mauritania at all is elemental runes. Um, I mean, you can get them technically from the Slayer Tower, but realistically, I'm probably not going to get to a high enough Slayer level to be able to get them. So these maze randoms are going to be pretty huge. So you can see on this one, uh, the most recent loot that I got, that I got air runes. So that's actually 15 air runes. Um, and basically, each time you loot this chest and keep the menu up, the percentage score only goes down by 1%. So from where I'm at the minute at 72%, I can loot this chest a further 71 times before it boots me out. Um, and you can get a whole load of stuff, elemental runes, bronze bolts, arrows, uh, potions. Um, so this is definitely what I'm going to be doing. Uh, one of my subscribers, or at least I hope he's a subscriber because he commented on the video, um, actually made this plugin. It's called Amazing Chest. Um, and it's a real game changer for being able to do this quite AFK because I'm going to be in here for over an hour and 10 minutes getting uh, getting these supplies. So definitely worth having the, uh, the plug-in to make it a bit easier on the brain. So I missed getting it on recording, but that is level 36 agility. Just four more levels to go. Oh, it really feels like we're on the home stretch, but we have just run out of coins. So we're going to have to go get a smidge more coins. Um, but once we do, we're, 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 we're going to just go straight to 40. Um, fail rate is still around sort of 35% here. I mean, as in success rate is 35%, fail rate is 65%. Um, but yeah, only four more levels to go until, well, <laughs> until I can just go and do another form of agility for a shitload more time. And whilst we were getting more coins, we just got level 36 attack, which gets us 50 combat, which I guess... Feels a bit like a milestone. <laughs> so we just went and collected a ton of shells. Um, I wanted to kind of stack them all up um, at once to sell them because I just, I fancied it. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much coins this, should, this, this is going to be, but it should be enough to get us to level uh, level 40 because um, it's really not that much more XP anymore. 15 coins per one. And we can sell them, you know, all of them at a time because the price in the shop doesn't go down, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get just under 3k. So that, yeah, that should pretty comfortably get us level 40. Um, it's been a slog, a real fucking slog. But we're on a home stretch now. Just got to click the bridge over and over and over again. Level 37 agility, just three more levels until the cannabis course is ours. Level 38 agility. I bet the gap between that clip and the last one felt like nothing to you guys, but felt like an eternity 
to I. So here we go, a big level for the account. Not on that one because we fell, but here is the big level now. Level 40 agility exactly from just that bridge. That is wild. Right, we can now do though the Canifis course, which is going to be massive for the account. I think you retain run energy because I think the beginning and the end are pretty close to each other. Oh, God, that was quite a slog. Um, and if you want to know how long it took, it took uh, 30 hours in total to get from 1 to 40 agility at that bridge. So that was kind of brutal. Uh, the rate didn't improve much over time either. Um, but yeah, we finally got it, and now the XP per hour should speed up massively. It, I don't think it'll be too great um, when I first start. I think at level 40 you do fail quite a lot. Um, but particularly once we start getting into the 50s, the XP per hour will shoot up. And I think the best XP per hour, the Canifis course, is about 20k. Um, so we're only about, we're only less than halfway through this grind so far. The next part is going to be even longer than this part. Um, but it's at least doing a slightly more normal activity. Um, and I'm going to eat way less food, particularly in the second half of it. Um, so I need to make sure I stick my agility obstacle highlights on because I can't do it without highlights for long. But, oh, this feels so good doing an actual agility course. Look at this. Just consistent XP. I'm pretty sure you can fall off some of these. Hopefully I can get this first lap down so you guys can see my first lap. Um, uh, so we've made it past one of the falling points. I think this one here is the other place that you can fall. This one's particularly annoying because it's right at the end of the course. <sighs> okay, and here we are. Let's look what the XP drop is at the end of the course. 175 XP. Your lap account is one. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm so excited for this. And there is our first mark of grace. Look at it, it's worth 15.4k. Oh, but you can't even high alk them or anything. So, if what I would give to be able to turn that in for 15k uh, GP on this account is, you know, it doesn't even bear thinking about the things I'd do for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to end up with, I think, quite a lot of marks of grace because... Canifis is the only course where the Mark of Grace rate isn't reduced after you go 20 levels higher than the entry level. So uh, all the other courses, um, you know, at Sears course you start at level 60, but at level 80 you start getting a, re like a markedly reduced rate of Marks of Grace. Whereas at the Canifis course that rate is um, consistent all the way through to 99, so I'm going to end up with a shitload of Marks of Grace. Um, which I guess is pretty cool, and pretty useless, because uh, I'm not going to be getting Graceful, nor Staminas, for a long, long, long time. But, it will at least increase the bank value quite a lot. So I did a whole bunch of agility last night on mobile, so this is the first kind of clip where I'm back on uh, the PC. And we just got 45 agility. Now, I must say, this is so much better than the uh, shortcut was. I mean, it's relaxed. The XP per hour is like four times better, five times better, more. Um, so this is, uh, this is very nice. And I feel quite lucky that I'm able to uh, get to 71 agility doing this rather than the shortcut. I mean, in a different universe, right, where rooftop courses didn't exist, this grind would be insane. Um, but luckily, this course does exist, so this shouldn't take us too long. And here is level 50 agility, really rattling through it now. Oh, I can cross the stepping stone near nature's grotto. It might be worth checking if that's decent XP. Um, it very well could be. I'll go to see. 
Right, I just realised that that makes level 50 agility our highest skill going past our strength level. So it's probably going to be our highest skill for a little while, to be honest, because once it's 71, that's actually pretty high. Uh, but let's see what the XP is on this stepping stone. Nothing? No XP on the stepping stone? Okay. <laughs> um, and you can fall off. Okay, so we'll be... Oh, no. Oh no, <laughs> let's hope I don't get stuck. Okay, um, so there's a fairy ring there which I obviously cannot use, um, but we'll be going back to um, back to the Canopus course because that's clearly better than zero XP at all. 51 agility, flying through it. Right, so we're up to 300 laps and by my reckoning to get level 71 we're looking at going probably slightly past 3,000 laps. Um, so that means we're going to end up with like 900 to 1,000 marks of grace, which um, which is kind of mad that I'm going to have like a 15 mil bank value from them that I can do absolutely nothing with. <laughs> so that's going to be the majority of my bank for the foreseeable future, foreseeable future, and there's nothing I can do about it. You've been playing for a while. Please consider taking a break from your screen. Never! <laughs> right, so in an effort to try and brute force some uh, more random events, when we sport, when we log in, we're going to get some like attack XP, some defense XP, and some strength XP, along with obviously the hit points XP, and then carry on with agility. Uh, I'll probably even bury this guy's bones as well for the extra power XP. Because in theory, if you gain lots of different kinds of XP, um, you're more likely to spawn a random event faster. And I need a lot of random events because I want to get up to five or six woodcutting, whatever it is, for the steel axe relatively soon. Um, because there are a lot of chunks that I'm right next to with fires or rangers um, close by. So if I want to, if I get one of those chunks, I'm going to end up having to, um, basically having to get 80 cooking because of the shark in this store here. Um, so I want to get as many random events as I can because if I can chop a tree, I can set a fire just outside this bank, right, rather than having to walk to wherever the chunk is. So like, um, if I unlock, say, this chunk, the cooking range is here. There's no bank around here, so I'd have to buy food from the store over here and walk all the way through, through Pathodermis Temple, um, over to this range and cook over here. Whereas, obviously, the best way to do it would be to just light a fire outside here and just run into the bank in and out again. Um, same deal with the castle. There's a fire up here, so that one won't be quite as bad, but it's still a long walk. Um, so yeah, the six wood cutting is, or is it six or five? Let's have a look. Um, six wood cutting is going to be really, really vital to uh, making that 80 cooking grind whenever we get it not awful. There is level 54 agility. Um, I've basically done all of this in one day from level 45 to 54. So that's what? Just under 100k XP or something. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we can get close to 60 tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this 71 agility, it's, it's a decent requirement. 3,000 laps here is a lot. Um, but I'm hoping I can get it knocked out in sort of just under two weeks. Um, and then once we do, we can get back to rolling some chunks. 500 laps of the Canopus course done. Uh, about one sixth of the way to what we need to do. Pretty crazy. A lot of laps, although this isn't kind of out of the ordinary yet for the amount of laps you might do in Canopus, because quite a lot of people get 40 to 60, I think, because the Marks of Grace rate is pretty good. Up to 150 Marks of Grace as well. That's nearly a full Graceful set. Um, onwards and upwards. I'll go on then. 55 Agility, exactly. Lovely level. Nothing we can unlock, but that's a pretty cool level. That's all in uh, one day, 45 to 55. So if I'm going to do 55 to 60 tomorrow, I'll be pretty happy with that. But um, yeah, 
kind of flying through it at the minute. <laughs> I mean, we still got what 650k XP to go, which is quite a lot. But uh, XP per hour is picking up a bit. I was kind of getting 12-ish k earlier in the day. Um, I'm pretty easily getting 15k now. I don't know when you stop failing this course, but because I'm still failing it from time to time. Um, but if I can uh, stop failing, that'll kind of bring XP up to about 18, 19k per hour, and then suddenly that's a lot quicker and the XP will uh, increase quite a lot. But yeah, uh, clearly still failing at 55. Oh, I just missed the recording for 57 agility because I'm pretty piss poor as a YouTuber. But uh, there it is, two over 200k agility XP now. Should be getting 60 today relatively easily. 58 agility, just 13 more levels to go. Something I noticed was that I'm going to end up with 275 total exactly once I get level 71, assuming I don't have to get any other levels. I don't really see why I will. I'm failing so little now that my hit points aren't going down, um, so I don't need to get any money for food. Um, and I can't really train many other levels uh, except combat uh, with the chunks that I have. So, yeah, we'll see. 59 agility, just one more until level 60. Craziness, craziness. Uh, we, we're not kind of getting into the uh, wacky territory of this yet. I think once we get past level 60, I'll probably be entering the realms of the most, the most, you know, person who's done the most laps at Canafis. But, you know, as we are now, we're probably, you know, pretty normal. Um, on the high side maybe for people that bother to go to Falador or the Wilderness course. But uh, yeah, we're soon to be entering relatively uncharted territory soon. So we just got our 260th mark of grace, which means that if we were a normal account, we would be getting full graceful right now. But unfortunately, we're a bazillion chunks away from that, so no graceful for us. Um, but it is a nice amount of bank value. It's what? Four mil already, and we're probably going to get maybe four times that many marks of grace by the time we're done with this grind. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Level 60 agility coming in. What a milestone level. Not the last mi milestone level we're going to get because we're going to be getting at least level 70 here. But yeah, level 60 agility, Mauritania only. I've got my daughter with me, so if you hear any yelping, that's who it is. Um, but we just hit a thousand laps at the Canafis course. Wow. <laughs> I've done that in two days. It really isn't too bad, is it? Um, halfway to level 61. Uh, so we'll just keep, keep chipping away at it. 61 agility. Oh, we can do the Slayer Tower medium, uh, medium shortcut. We'll do that at some point. Although I believe that's the one that takes you up to the aberrant spectres and I don't have the ability to wear a nose peg yet so I'll probably just go up and get instantly killed. So uh, maybe I won't do that until uh, right at the end. There's a guy over there lighting fires outside the, uh, the meat shop. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I in the wrong to go in there and just buy some buy some meat and start cooking it there. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to get 80 cooking sooner or later. And this guy seems to be uh, <laughs> willing to do the work for me. I'll have those chickens, please. <laughs> Thank you, Gaily Bobs 101 Don't know what your fucking deal is, but I'll take the free cooking XP. Please light another fire. <laughs> I've now got six raw chickens. Oh, I think he's done. I got one cooking level. <laughs> Although that gives me an idea. I mean, I have said I'm totally not against like using alts in this series. I mean, I already lured werewolves over there with my alt for the whole of the first video. People, and you know, no one seemed to care, right? So, I mean, I guess there's nothing me stopping me just lighting fires out here on my main account and then just cooking stuff there. 
I mean, I don't have to do it yet because there's no range in the chunk, but maybe when 80 cooking requirement comes because I get a range or a fire, you know, in one of the adjacent chunks. So I think there's a there's a fire in Frank Frankenstein's castle that I could use. And there's a there's a range over here, and there's you know there's a range of Port Phasmatis as well, and over here. So you know sooner or later we're going to get that eighty cooking requirement, and when I do, I think lighting fires on the main out here is probably be the way. I've kind of been leveling wood cutting to do it myself, but I don't need to, do I? Like, as long as I have ex like fires aren't specific to character. So, I mean, it's cheeky, but I was fucking cheeky in the first episode, wasn't I, with the lure in the main over there? I mean, it, it like, this series is going to be sort of different to many others, right? Because I have to, I'm going to have to do Theatre of Blood sooner or later, right? And I can't solo that. Um, so, you know, we, we, we highlighted in the first episode that alt usage is, is generally fine in extreme one chunk accounts. So, I guess it'll be fine here as well. Oh, go on then. Chuck in a Mithril Scimitar. Why do I keep getting buckets? I could have had a thousand coins. A thousand coins is like 20 minutes saved for me doing uh, doing snails. Why on earth do I take the mystery box every time? For fuck's sake. Oh, and I missed it again, but at least I've still got the, uh, the pop-up up. 64 agility. Nothing unlocked from that, but the next level we get is the salve loose railing cut, which is a pretty cool uh, little agility cut, to be fair. Rapidly speeds up the path across there, and I don't know what XP it gives, so I've got a slight hope, hope of hopes, that it's better XP than the Canopus course. I highly doubt it. If it gives XP at all, because um, obviously the level 51 didn't. But if it does, I'm hoping that it's it, it can be faster than this. Because obviously no one with 65 agility, except me, would ever do that course. So, but would ever do that shortcut for XP. Because, you know, Seer, like Seer's course is way better XP than, than that would be. Um, so hopefully it gives some XP. Oh, here we go. We might actually catch a run level on record. I did, but I fucked up the <laughs> I fucked up talking about it. There is level sixty six agility. So I'm gonna finish this lap off and then I'm gonna go do the salve uh, course. I know it's unlocked at sixty five, but I got sixty five when I was on mobile. Um so I couldn't record. Um but we're gonna go do the salve shortcut now and see if it gives any XP. Right. Do we get any XP for this? No, by the looks of it. But a relatively handy shortcut, I guess, for if I ever need to uh, traverse west to east along here. Um, oh, I think I need to unlock this chunk, actually. I've got it unlocked in the actual thing, haven't I? Yeah, so I can actually use that one. Um, cool. Well, no better agility XP method, but only five levels to go until level... Uh... Oh, I need to do it this way to get the diary task. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, only five more levels till level 71, and the main grind in this chunk being done, which is going to be so nice, because I've been doing this for now so long. Um, I'll be honest, getting from 40 to 71 is not anywhere near as bad as the getting from 1 to 40. That was really brutal with all the damage that I took in particular. The actual method was fine, the crossing the bridge. Um but the damage you took and having to get loads and loads of food with no real good access to coins was just bleak. Um, but we're done with that now and we can be happy that we can do proper agility courses. And there is 2,000 laps of the Canifis course. We're nearing 67 agility and that isn't the last 1,000 milestone we're going to get. We're going to get at least 3,000 and then a little bit beyond that. Um, but yeah, oh, well over half done with the agility at the Canopus course now, which is uh, a relief. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep pounding around, I guess. And here is level 67 agility. Getting through it. Just four more levels to go. So it's raining pretty heavily outside, so if you can hear that, I am sorry. But... Here is our first level purely from, oh no, not that one, purely from lamping, woodcutting, 15 XP, 
and that is level two, so it should speed up quite a lot from now. Um, you know, double the speed from Lamp, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, level two woodcutting, big level, even though it doesn't seem like it. I'm sure these levels feel like they're going by very quickly for you, but they are taking ages for me. There is a level 68 agility and three more levels to go. Here is level 69 agility and 734 marks of grace. 11.7 mil. Sorry, I'm on the phone trying to uh, get through to someone. I'm on hold. And uh, I'm in queue position 5, it just told me. Uh, but there's uh, 69 agility and 734 marks of grace, which is crazy. 11.7 mil in value. Considering everything else I have on my account probably tots up to... 100k. <laughs> I'm so sad that I can't alk these or sell them to the shop or anything, even for a little bit of money, because coins are so hard to come by on this account. Massive level coming in right now. Level 70 agility, which is one level away from the target got uh, target of 71. Um, and I guess if we ever make it to Taverly Dungeon, we never have to get a dusty key, so... Uh, That'll be nice. Um, but yeah, 70 agility. Crazy. Feels like so long since I was uh, crossing the bridge. Oh, I've been AFK in the brain for too long and we missed the uh, milestone. I kind of just watch TV and then do this in the corner almost on autopilot now. Um, but we just hit 3,000 laps of the cannabis course, so we are nearly done. It seems totally inconceivable to me that... You know, not too long ago, I was crossing that bridge at like six agility, and like getting damaged seven per go, stressing over the fact that I was it was going to take so long to get this done, and it has. Um, but we're nearly there. Totally crazy that, like you know, then me couldn't have conceived uh, that I'd be at seventy, just chilling like I am now. Uh, but we're nearly halfway to 71, 3,000 laps done. So, yeah, next clip you see should be level 71 agility, which will be the main grind in this chunk, done. Okay, so we put in a shift last night, and here we are after a long, long journey. 71 agility. You can now use the Slayer Tower Advanced Spike Chain of Agility course. That's what we needed to get done. 3,175 laps of the Caliphate course on top of the 1 to 40 we did at the Nature's Grotto Bridge. But there it is, we're finally done and we're so close to moving on with the chunk now. Alright, so I don't think I actually need to go um, into the Aberrant Spectres bit. I think I just climb this and that's the task. Do, do I? Don't need to climb up without it hurting me? Um, is this the level 61 one? Do I need to do the one at the bottom? Not entirely sure. <laughs> okay, I think this might be the uh, the wrong one and I need to do the other one. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> because the one up to Aberrant Spectres... Like, an Aberrant Spectre is just going to kill me instantly. Because um, I don't have a nose peg. So that could be a problem. Uh, let's see how that goes. Right, so this must be the advanced spike chain then, I'm guessing. Let's give it a go, and we're going to have to try and climb down as quick as possible before a spectre gets on me, because if it gets on me, I'm pretty sure it will drain my agility and I won't be able to climb down and I'll just die. Okay, yeah, go. I'm back down. Why am I not getting the... Oh, is it not a diary task? Is it just, like, a task in the area... Okay, I'm reading that wrong on the chunk picker then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought when it said task, it meant like it was a diary task. Um, but it's just a skilling challenge. Cool. So I've climbed both of those. So whichever one it is, I've done. Um, so, cool. Right, let's move on to the next thing. Oh, no. It is there. Climb the advanced spike chain within Slayer Tower. Right, I need to do some research and find out which one it is. But I climbed both of them. I don't understand... Spike chain floor three. Spike chain floor two. Okay, so that's... Right, so this is the level 61 one. So it's definitely that other one. 
I'm confused. <laughs> I'm really confused. Okay, so attempt number two back at this. I'm guessing it's because I ripped my hands to pieces on the chain as you climbed. So I'm guessing I damaged myself, so I kind of technically failed, maybe? There we go. So if you do it correctly, you get 3 XP and you get the task. Cool, right, so that's done. Oh, we're able to use this shortcut for something that we actually need to use it for, getting up to go kill the monks. I think, contrary to when I had to kill one for the quest, I now should be able to do it myself. Um, they have really fast HP regen, but I think with the stats I've got and the new gear, that I should be alright, to be honest. So, let's see. Okay, so there is the monk bottom, and now we just need the monk top. We're getting our stats drained quite a bit. Oh, I should probably move that, shouldn't I? Uh, there we go. Um, but yeah, monk row bottom achieved. Can we get the top or back to back? <laughs> <laughs> our recording RNG is great. Right, so that is our prayer best in slot, I believe. So yeah, zero prayer bonus. Six prayer bonus for those. That's actually useful. That could actually be good for me. Nice. Cool, right. Is this the sign we need to read? Read signpost? Before starting this quest. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Right, well, there we go. I can't do that because I can't telegram anything because I can't get any access to magic. Oh, I only 50 coins. Oh, okay, so I could, in theory, I guess, do that. Um, cool. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Okay, so I don't. So I can do that, but that's not actually the next step of the quest. next step of the quest is go up to the castle and speak to Dr. Frankenstrain, which I can't do because I haven't got the castle. Cool, so we're done with that, and we can now move on to the nature spirit. Okay, feeling mildly scarred by having to cross this bridge, but hopefully we succeed the jump. Yes, we love 15 agility XP drops here. Okay, I believe this is the last step of the quest that I can actually do. Because, yeah, I need to talk to him to get my silver sickle blessed. And I do not have one and no way to get one. So, that's the end of the chunk. Let's get to rolling. So, with step five of Nature Spirit complete, we have zero active chunk tasks remaining. So, let's uh, let's get stuck in and see what we get. Quite nervous, but let's see how this goes. Okay, right, that's not bringing anything up in the active chunks. So, I think that's going to mean we don't do anything. Um, it's got the boaty there, which would take us down to here, but we don't have here unlocked yet, so I don't think we can use it. Um, I think it'd probably be the barrows chunk with that as well, because I think it would take you to the bridge here, like just there. Um, so that's fine. Uh, this is where we're at. We cannot go east from here, so there are no new active chunks to be unlocked. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't get over there. So cool, right? So we're we're down to uh, six chunks that we can pick from. So we're quite limited where we're gonna go. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's line that back up so you can see the whole thing. Uh, there we go, and let's pick the next one. Okay, actually, let's check what we can do in this chunk here. So let's unlock that. Uh, hang on. That should have worked, did it? Oh, that should have worked. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll just get stuck in. Um, cool. So, just a load of snails. The boaty there. I'm pretty sure that's the only interactable object in the chunk, which we... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do it until I'd uh, got to that point in uh, the quest. Oh, dear. I uh, fucked up quite badly there. Oh, I even did a medium task in the Mauritania area. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that would be the message coming this way as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I've got to leg it back to where we came from now. Oh, no. That's a cataclysmic fuck up. Oh, dear. Okay, we're back to uh, <laughs> we're back to legitimate places that I can be. Um, so yeah, nothing we can do in that chunk except definitely not click on that boat again. Um, but 
<laughs> that's really fucked me up because that means that I've unlocked these two music tracks that I really didn't want to have unlocked. Um, oh well. Um, so many snails here. I wish this was closer to a bank. That could actually be useful to me. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the chunk picker, I guess. So with our suspicions confirmed that there was absolutely nothing in the, uh, the hollows chunk, let's pick the next one. Okay, nothing there either, <laughs> that's interesting, um, yeah, I mean it kind of lines up, so that's I think where the swamp lizards are, but we've got absolutely no way of training, um, of training Hunter, so yeah, we've kind of uh, got another blank one, so yeah, I'll probably go check it out just to confirm, but I imagine that's the case. Okay, so we are back in the chunk picker. It's kind of getting inevitable that we're going to get an 80 cooking requirement sooner or later with uh, two out of five of the uh, chunks we have ready to go being 80 cooking chunks. So uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Morton. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, that takes us really close to Barrows, which isn't too good until I've got access to... Um, well, I guess I've got elemental runes, actually, from uh, the maze randoms in some sort of way. Um, so that could work for us. We just need to go and do Shades of Morton up to step one, which is what? Read the diary of Herbie Flax. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's go and do that. Cool. So let's unlock this chunk there we go why is that not unlocking properly that's really quite annoying um cool right i need to go and sort that out <laughs> right we got that sorted we just need to go and read that uh that part of the I think we just need to find a book on a shelf and read it, uh, so we can do that relatively easily. Let's search the shelf. Come on. Search the shelf, read the book, and there is Shades of Morton started, but we cannot continue because we basically cannot do Herb Law for the next forever. Um, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's roll another chunk, I guess. So we are back in the chunk picker with zero active chunk tasks. So uh, let's get to picking, shall we? Ooh. That's an interesting one. So the only task there is wield a black weapon, but it does put us closer to this farming patch, which I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, and it also puts us closer to the Ectofunctus and Port Phasmatis. So, uh, right, let's see how many... So how do I get this black weapon, actually? A uh, feral vampire drop. Okay, let's check what level they are. I've got a feeling they're going to be quite tough for me. Ah, the arrogance of naivety. Surprisingly, getting the black axe has so far been significantly tougher than anything I had to go through with the werewolf. So we'll save that miserable chunk for the start of the next video. Now I'd like to say a huge thank you to the channel members, Avery Fields, IT Warrior, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, and our newest supporter, Grimsley. I wouldn't be able to put as much time into these videos as I do without you, so thank you. Between growing the channel member count and today's HelloFresh sponsorship, my wife is slowly starting to understand that there could be a career in this. So if you have a few could spare and fancy wasting it on a channel membership or want a week of uh, cheap food from HelloFresh, signing up for either will go a long way to legitimising spending dozens of hours a week making these videos for you in my household. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like, comment and subscribe. It helps push the video and my channel out to more people. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye.